Hi guys, my name's Adele Griffin. Thanks for inviting me onto the vlog. There's a bunch of people like tearing up the sidewalk with jackhammers outside, so I hope the noise doesn't bother you. But uh, I'm really excited to be here and to talk about my new book, Tighter, which in your first question, and you had four great questions, but your first question was very different, this book from The Julian Game, which I wrote last year, and that's true. I'm always excited to write very different books, and Titer is a retelling, actually, of an old, wonderful, classic Victorian ghost story by Henry James, and I just have loved that story for so much. I had been wanting to do this reimagining of the story for a young adult. It's creepy, it's suspenseful, it's very strange. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was just a, a great writing experience. Now, uh, you'd had a question in the book about prescription medication because Jamie Atkinson is a real pillhead. And yeah, I, I, I did do that because prescription medications, the choice to go into your medicine cabinet and use it as a candy store is so dangerous and it seemed so fitting with her personality that as a device, I thought it really worked with um, identifying her kind of trouble and it really magnifies that kind of vulnerability that is uh, passive and yet obviously really destructive and quiet is it it's just seemed like the right fit and of course we I really took it all the way down the road which is you know a scary decision but I thought it was interesting to take to take that addiction as far as I could and Let's see, your third question was about uh, Skylark, was, is the house. Skylark is the setting, and it becomes its own character. And, and that's, that was a good question. That's true. Why did, I, why did I make so much of Skylark? And I think it's rooted in this memory I have of being 16 years old, and I had this completely crummy summer. I was scooping ice cream. I was babysitting. It was just nothing good going on. And somebody took me for a day to Block Island. I see this house. It's so beautiful, and I just remember thinking, oh my god, so that that's just so unfair. Somebody gets to live in that house and have that summer, and I'm having this summer, and I was completely, absolutely bitter. And it obviously still resonated all these years later because I had to reimagine the house and put it in a book and live in it in some kind of imaginary writing state. I had to capture this place, but in the end it was very vivid and... Uh, I loved it as a setting. And your your fourth question, I think, was, do I believe in ghosts? I think to write a ghost story, you have to believe in ghosts. You, yes, I am, I'm signing on for that. I'm a believer. I believe in ghosts. And Andy, you know what? I also, I also believe in snakes. So I will leave you with that. Thanks again. Have a great day. I hope you read tighter and enjoy it as much as I loved writing it. Thanks. Bye.